Hi, good evening everyone. Today is the day 40 of gear up mains answer writing. Today we are discussing the environment question which is related to the biodiversity act. Yesterday we discussed the another, another question of the environment. In this week we are doing the question of environment and the digester management. Yesterday was related to the coastal erosion and today it is related to the biodiversity. Through these classes you are, can easily understand what is the exactly demand of the question, what you need to be right in the question, how you can break the question into multiple parts, how you can write a good example, good case study and data in your answers. Okay, so we are on today day 40, we already covered the 40 que 39 questions in the previous classes you can read those uh, you can see those video also and you can also write the answer please try to write the answer and submit to the portal these questions will be evaluated by our experts okay so let's start what's the question for today the question is how does biodiversity vary in the india how does biodiversity vary in India? How is the Biological Diversity Act 2002 helpful in the conservation of flora and fauna? So we need to be telling here, the question is very simple. Variation of biodiversity in India Variation of biodiversity in India and the second Biological Diversity Act 2002, how it helped in the conservation, how it helped in the conservation. This is the main two question demand. First demand is the variation of biodiversity in India, what type of biodiversity in the Himalayan region, Trans Himalayan region desert region, semi-desert, arid region, western ghats, north east India, Godavari plains. So, what is the variations? How does the biodiversity vary in these regions? So, we need to be quote examples here, examples of flora and the fauna in the each area. Okay, so this is the main demand. This is the demand of the first part of the question, the variation of biodiversity. The second demand is how the Biodiversity Act help in the conservation. So we need to list out the different kind of objectives under the Biodiversity Acts. What, are, what, are, what is the mention under the Act? So we need to be right here. So this is a two part. And we are as usual we are dividing the question into the introduction, body, and conclusion. In body you can write these parts, but in the introduction you will define the biodiversity. The question is specifically asking how does biodiversity vary in India. So we can directly define the biodiversity. The biodiversity includes the flora and the fauna of a specific area. In the living organism which includes the, both the flora and the fauna. It can vary from the place to place and biodiversity can vary between the species. So you can define the biodiversity and in India there is approximately the 7% of the world biodiversity are in India. So you can write out some of the data in the introduction as well. So you can directly define the biodiversity, even you can define the biodiversity any of the international organization that will be the better you can give a definition directly according to the an international organization like the according to the united nation earth summit you can give the definition of the biodiversity according to the un earth summit as well okay now come to the variation how this variation occur if we see Briefly, we will write about the region of variation, 
वट कैन बी द रीजन ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी वेरिएशन वट कैन बी द रीजन ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी वेरिएशन इन इंडिया वाई दे इज अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द फ्लोरा इन द पोना एट द डिफरेंट प्लेसेस हाय सिद्धांत हेलो बट हाउ द इट्स वेरिएशन द रीजन ऑफ द वेरिएशन मे बी द जोग्राफिकल ड्यू टू द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टेम्परेचर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द वेदर विच कैन बी अ रीजन for the variation second reason of variation is the habitat which kind of the habitat of the organism which kind of the habitat of the plant species which are living in some specific area some of the plants like the we can say are adaptable to arid region some of you can find in the himalayan region some of you find even find a desert region they can be tropical rainforest there can be the subtropical rain forest dry deciduous forest so the habitat is one of the region behind the variation geographical factor is one of the region behind the variation there can be the another region behind the variation we can say what can be the another region there can be the vegetation vegetation of the area it also the one of the region behind the variation next can be the domination by the one species the area dominated by one species is also the variation geographical isolation geographical isolation and the age effects where the maximum species can be found age effects so these are the some of the region which leads to the variation of a different kind of the flora and the fauna in the country it can be the geographical region it can be due to habitat it may be due to the vegetation it's may be the area is dominated by a single species geographical isolation and the age effects these are the some of the region which lead to the variation of the biodiversity in the different area in the country so after the introduction we will write this in the brief part so what can be the region for this variation in the different area in the himalayan region in the trans himalayan region in the arid region in the desert region in the western himalaya in the western ghat eastern ghat north east india godavari plains gujarat region so what why this variation so these are the some of the region of the variation now what is the second part of the question is demanding it is demanding how does diversity vary in india so now we need to be focused on this how part kaise so we list out the region humne regions ko list kiya now we need to be focused on this how part means we need to be give the examples we need to be give the name of the area where a different variation the different variation of the flora different variation of the fauna different animals and the plant species respectively so we look at it ki how it's vary so we need to be list out the different regions himalayan regions so let's see what can be the best example and what can be the different kind of regions here So the first we are listing here the Himalayan region. In the Himalayas, everybody know in the Himalaya there is a high rain, and they so that the flora there specifically is a dense forest, dense subtropical forest you will found there. Dense subtropical forest you will found in the Himalayan region. so these kind of the flora and which kind of the fauna that's depend on the flora also so the sambar himalayan thar and the gola species these are the species you can find in the himalayan region if you're going to the trans himalaya the region in between the ladakh and after tibet 
the region is known as the trans himalayan region even in a trans himalayan region flora you will find the alpine alpine tree you, because due to the very less temperature here very less temperature in this region you will find the alpine species you can also find the samba in the trans himalayan region also and the other species is the munjack this is also the fauna species you will find into the trans himalaya if we are coming to the desert region in india the desert region is specifically the rajasthan area which contribute the almost the major part of the indian deserts thar deserts also there so according to the desert region the flora species will vary because of change in the temperature change in the rainfall pattern different kind of a trees present there so you will find acacia dry deciduous acacia tree is example in the flora in a case of the fauna the great indian bustard the black bug in the rajasthan region in the gujarat region also great indian bustard black bug are some of the fauna we can find in the indian desert region so you need to be list down different regions the himalayan regions trans himalayan regions india desert regions and the which kind of the flora and the fauna are present in those region so you need to be list out with examples without examples this question is not complete so you need to be write the different kind of examples then in the semi arid region specifically in the rajasthan and the gujarat area it's a gir region gir region specifically for the tiger population lion population and the some of the other fauna also there also a dry deciduous forest you will found so we are dividing the area in india according to the temperature according to the rainfall according to the weather which kind of species we can find there which can be species which kind of the plant species which kind of the animal species are found in these area so we show the variation of the species from himalayan to the south india what is the variation from the east to west and north to south and we need to list out the examples in the every area without example the question is not complete if we are coming to the western ghats in the case of the western ghats you will find the evergreen dry deciduous forest the example is the nilgiri nilgiri you will found macaw lion tail macaw is the animal you will found there similarly in the deccan peninsula in the gangetic plain and in the northeast india you need to be mention a different kind of examples related to the flora and the fauna so this is the requirement of the first part of the question you need to be write about the regions with their flora and the fauna examples and then you can list down the six seven regions because this is a 15 marker questions so you need to be list down six seven regions here which show the variation of the biodiversity in india in the first part we discuss about the introduction in the introduction we are defining the definition of the biodiversity we are defining the, the biodiversity according to the any of the international organization or according to the ministry of environment and the forest climate change or the, according to the biodiversity act so we can define or we can according define the rio summit what's the biodiversity mean then we list down the region why there is a variation what are the factors behind the variation so we listed the geographical factors due to the habitat due to the age effects due to the presence of a particular species in the area so these are some of the regions which leads to the variation of the biodiversity in the india so then we comes to the body part which specifically demanding how its variation going in the different area in india so we need to be list down a different area even in the himalaya region trans himalayan region indian desert semi arid north east west western ghats eastern ghats so we are listing down those and we are listing those with examples examples of the flora as well as the example of the fauna okay now the question demand is how the biodiversity act of 2002 is helping in 
protection of the biodiversity. So we need to be list down this part. This is the second part of your answer. So we need to be right about what is the how is the bio, di, biological diversity act 2002 helpful in the conservation of the flora and the fauna. So till now we completed this part and now we need to be focus on the second part. Okay, so let's see how the biodiversity helps. So under the biodiversity act, under the biodiversity act, there is a three tier structure. There is a three tier structure. One is the central biodiversity authority. One is the central biodiversity authority. Second is the state biodiversity authority. State biodiversity authority and third is the local or the district level biodiversity authority local or district level biodiversity authority so under the act there is a three tier system for the production of the biodiversity at the central level there is central biodiversity authority at state level there is a state biological diversity biological biodiversity authority and the district biodiversity authority Second is the biodiversity heritage sites. Under the Biodiversity Act of 2002, which recently completed at 20 years in the 2022, it's also mentioned about the heritage sites. It's listed the two heritage sites, the Eastern Ghats and the Western Ghats in India. If any site is recognized as a heritage site, under the biodiversity act mean that will get the higher protection so this act identify the eastern ghats and the western ghats so these ghats i got the highest protection under the act so this is the how the biodiversity act is helping the preservation of the biodiversity regulate the access to the biodiversity authority regulate access to biodiversity resources this act is also regulating the biodiversity resources which resource will be used for the research purpose which can be collected by the local people for which there is a requirement of the government permission all are mentioned under this act all points are mentioned under the biodiversity act of 2002 this is also helping protection of the biodiversity in the next case we will write about the penal provision even the act mentioned about the specific provision for the if any person is not following the biological biodiversity act of 2002 so there is a penal provision also the provision of the fine and the provision of the jail both are there it's involved the people participation if we see in the local district biodiversity authority there is a people participation there is a three tier structure here so it's also involved the people participation that through the people biodiversity register people biodiversity register then the equitable sharing Equitable sharing means they are also allowing the locals for collecting the some of the resources. So these are the some of the area where the Biodiversity Act of 2002 help in protecting the biodiversity in the country. Three tier structure, biodiversity heritage sites, regulation access to biodiversity resources, penal provision people participation and the equitable sharing this all will help in the protection of the biodiversity if we are listing down these so it's our responsibility we are listing three four points where the this act is not so strong what are the other lacuna in the act so we need to be also need to be right so we can make a figure we can make a diagram or we can make a schematic through which we can write so let's see that also what can be the issue here 
the implementation deficit. In the implementation deficit, there is a three tier structure as we discussed under the act. But in the most of the states, this third tier is not implemented very well. The district biodiversity authority, the district biodiversity authority or the local biodiversity authority is not implemented very well. People are violating even after the environmental impact assessment, there is a violation of the act of the biodiversity of 2002 and the cases are pending, no penal provisions, lack of responsibility. In the case of the, in the some of the area, there is no people biodiversity register is maintained. No people biodiversity register is maintained in the some of the area also. Even in the case of the biodiversity heritage site, there is no proper protection. There is no proper protections and there is exemptions in the most of the things which are impacting the environment. So, these are the issue, implementation deficit, violation, lack of responsibility, biodiversity heritage site, the Eastern Ghat, Western Ghats, exemption in the case of the, like if we want to develop some of the area related to that, so that some of the exemption related to the environment. So, environmental impact assessment issue is also there. So, these are the issues related to the biodiversity acts. So, this is the demand of the second part of the question. In the first part, there is a demand, how is the variation in India in the different area? Second part, how the biodiversity act is preventing the, preserving the biodiversity and we listed down the issue as well. Now, we need to be go through the conclusion. What can be the conclusion in these kind of the question? If see the question again, if we see the question again, how does the biodiversity vary in India? How does the biodiversity vary in India? How is the Biological Diversity Act 2002 helpful in the conservation? So, conclusion will be a balanced conclusion. We can write about the protection level. We need to be focused on the implementation level. There should be proper implementation of the biodiversity acts. We need to be focused on the different kind of flora and the fauna. There is an issue of the environmental impact assessment that should be looked upon. Government should maintain the three tier structure of the biodiversity and it should be properly implemented. The one way you can conclude this answer. The second way you can give any of the examples related to the recent biodiversity issues in country. It may be related to the EIA, it may be related to the environmental clearance that you can mention into the conclusion part. Okay. So, this is done for today. The question is very simple. You need to, but this was a factual one also. You need to be right about the complete act. What are the provision of the act? What are the different area? What are the, there are different kind of the flora and the fauna in that area? So, these are the factual question. And a trend is observed. In the UPSC means the trend is observed. They are asking the one question related to the acts. They are asking some of the questions related to the conference of party that conducted recently. Those are held recently. So, according to the demand, you need to be focused on these area. As this was asked in the 2018. So, there is a higher chance after the five year that question can be repeated in the another form in 2023. Because it's completion of the 20 years. It's the completion of the 20 years of the Biodiversity Act that was started in 2002. So, you need to be focused on how the UPS is framing, what is the trend of the question, how we can, what we can expect in the next exam. Okay. So, you need to be looked upon. Uh, please try to write the answer and submit to the portal. So, you can evaluate yourself and you can get the check copy what mistakes you are doing. So, we completed the day 40. We will meet on the Monday because this program is from Monday to Friday. Every day from 6 p.m. You will get the question in the telegram portal of the Educami and you can write the answer and submit to the portal. So, we will meet on Monday with the new question, with the new subject. Till then, please try to revise all these 40 questions. You are having the two days, Saturday and Sunday, even the two days evening. 
if you are trying to write these questions as well, there are the 40 questions. So you clearly understand the different subjects, but exactly the UPSC wants from you. How you will focus on your preparation? Just reading the books will not help to crack this examination. You need to be focused, but exactly required. What's the core demand of the exam? Otherwise, you will end up reading everything and not able to answer the question of the UPSC. So please try to do analysis of the question paper and try to write these 40 answers. This can be the, as a homework type for you. And you will be able to understand how to break questions, how to write questions, what type of example can be, we will add in this, what kind of the case study, what, how we can write answer in the flow. After the breaking of the question, we can write answer in the flow as well. Okay, so we will meet on Monday at 6 p.m. Happy weekends to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.